there's a button on there for volunteers. I'm encouraging everyone. By the way, I told 400 people the other day to thank you for their donations oh. to my fundraiser. Yes. Um, thank the and, money. Uh, thank and the also, money. you can. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful people and success mentor Dante J. Worth, and I'm back with another video right here on Audacious Believe It TV. Woo! Now, if this is your first time tuning in, I need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you like this video mm -hmm. and make sure that you're commenting down below. Me and my team absolutely love to read your comments. Now, tonight we're being joined by the wonderful, the fabulous, the visionary. Tell them who you are, sir. Wayne Harris. Woo! So we invited Mr. Harris here tonight to talk no, about. No, well, hey, well, whoa, whoa, Mr. Um, Wayne. Wayne. Okay, <laughs> Wayne here to talk Thank about you. the power of physician. Yes. Now, uh, before we talk about that, we're gonna ask you the question we ask every single guest. Okay. What is your story? What's my story? Mm -hmm. So, lifelong Rochester resident. Yes. Um, Spent 30 years with the Rochester Police Department. Wow. I retired as the Deputy Chief of Police. I was that person in the com uh, with the department that was out in the community talking to people. Yes. And building bridges and getting to know them. And when things were bad, I was the one out there trying to fix them. And mm -hmm. when, when things were strong, I was out there also making them stronger. You are a peer mediator so, in government. That is yeah. awesome. We have a meeting. I'm taking this with me because we have another meeting to go to. Yes. That's awesome. So when you think, think about the power position, what does that mean to you? So it's almost a responsibility. Mm. Like if you're put into a position, by the way, you ever read Spider-Man? Not yet. Oh, okay. I've seen the movie. With great power read. comes great responsibility. And it's really about that. It's if, if you're given an opportunity to serve, nice. if you're given an opportunity to make a difference, mm. then you do it. You, you, you do what's best. If, you, if, you, if you're given a platform to speak, yes. you speak truth. You speak Power. You speak truth to power, and you, and you try to uplift. That's awesome. So, when you think about power, what have you done with the power that you've had been given in the past? Like, what is the most impactful thing that you've done? I've helped. I've, mm. I've tried to help. I, I mean, that's what being a police officer is really about. It's, mm. it's putting yourself in a position where you can help people that sometimes they're worst. Oh, that's good. So thinking about the city of Rochester right now, mm -hmm. right now you're on the, on the campaign trail, mm -hmm. running for city council. I am city council, East District. Woo! Why do you want to be in that position? Because I've always served. I spent 30 years serving, but well, I just, I just like dated myself. Ah! I just told people. Uh, all right, just get it out. Just get it out. Just get it out. It's all right. I don't mind. I spent 30 years serving the, the city of Rochester. Nice. And when I saw this opportunity, I thought, you know what, I can still serve. When I left the department, I kept doing the stuff I was passionate about. Nice. I, I, I continue to work with Teen Empowerment. I'm going to give them a shout out. Ooh, um, I'm also, yeah, they did it just the other night. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on the board of directors for the Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence. Yes. Um, I belong to an organization called Noble, nice. which is the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. Mm. Um, I'm actually on their national executive board. Nice. So, you know, for me, it was it was the next progressive or progressive step. It was the, the, the next the next me. That's good. Cool. So for someone watching right now, they say, they see you, they hear your story, they hear the things that you've accomplished. Why would they vote for you to be in that position? Because I think I have a perspective that perhaps some others don't have. And I think it's a perspective that's needed in the conversations that are occurring in and around Rochester right now. Mm. Um, I had an opportunity, you know, as a, the deputy chief of police to, actually even as, as a police officer, to see the way poverty has struck our community. Mm. And, you know, by way of the positions that I've held and the associations that I have, I know that there are very specific things we can do to address things like poverty. Like, let's improve our educational system. Mm -hmm. We get people, you know, to, to work a little bit harder, yes. get, get a little bit higher, you yes. know, go to college, we, we increase our workforce that mm. way. And then by bringing down those number of people that are, are on or below that poverty line. That's good! Oh, that's the goal. Education. That's yeah. it. That's good. So for someone out there who sees you as inspiration, they're just kind of lost. They don't know what to do. They're like, I want to be a somebody. I want to grow up and be like, Wayne. What do they do? Call me. Oh, call them. <laughs> Give them phone number. Give them phone number. <laughs> it's, I'm not going to my phone number because y'all will be calling me all the time. <laughs> no, but you want, I mean, it's, seriously, it's it's pretty easy. If yeah. it goes back to your first question, if you see a way to help, then mm -hmm. then help. If if you 
are passionate about something, go with where your passions lie. If, if you have a burning desire mm. within you to make a difference and to help people, then a career in law enforcement, mm. a career in civil service in, in any way is, is the way to go because it puts you in a position where you can actually affect change. That's good. That's good. A lot of times when we think about power, we think about power in a position as far as being in politics or in some kind of form of uh, formal position. Let's get magical for a moment. Let's say you had a magical wine and you could fix one problem in the city of Rochester with just one wish. What would that problem be? That would be poverty. Mm. Yeah, because there's there's so poverty is interesting because it can be a contributing factor mm -hmm. and it also becomes increased by some of the stuff that's occurring around us. So mm. if we can take care of that one aspect and the the, the problems that orbit around it, for mm -hmm. example. Historically, when there's a high level of poverty in a community, it tends to bring crime mm -hmm. and gang activity. Um, it, generally, what we see is uh, our educational levels of our kids go down. Mm -hmm. um, we have substance abuse issues that occur, mm -hmm. um, sometimes mental health issues that occur. Yes. So, yes. you know, if, if there was one thing that we could fix that would impact so many other things, mm -hmm. I would target that. That's good! That would, be, that would be my Harry Potter moment right there. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for rapid fire questions? Absolutely. Yes, you are! Favorite book. Favorite book. Shoot. Rapid fire. <laughs> um, the Bible. Oh, yeah. Which book in the Bible? Um, you know what? I just started rereading the book of Exodus because I just wrote a blog called um, Necessary Flight. I started off by quoting the Statue of Liberty's plaque mm -hmm. and what the Statue of Liberty actually says we are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And what it turned into was... You know, if God has ordained that, you know, the, the people of Israel were to flee Egypt because of, or based on oppression because they were being oppressed, mm -hmm. then how is it we can now look at others who are fleeing their oppression and coming to us for a better life and saying, no, you can't do that. Worth so, the text, sir. Um, mm -hmm. So I have to, I'm going to go with that for now. What? Next oh. rapid fire question. <laughs> that was real elaborating, y'all. Real elaborating. Favorite movie? Favorite movie. Um, Rent. Ooh, Rand. Actually, my favorite play, too. Favorite? Okay. Who's your favorite character? <sighs> That's a good question. I that, 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 that question, no, because it's probably Mark, because Mark documents um, the, the everyone's life. Like, everything sort of orbits around Mark, and he captures it, and he's the one that's going to document Mimi, and document Roger, and document mm. Tom and Angel, so. That's good. I like Angel Dumont, you know, I personally, I did. I <laughs> like Angel, too. Yes! Um, Angel was the heart of, of the whole thing. Yes! Yeah. What is the impact that you want to leave on Rochester? I want to change the world. Mm. Um, and I'm going to start by the little pieces that I can manipulate yes. right now. And if you want to affect change, you got to put yourself in a position to create change. That's good. That's good. That's good. What would be your next step if you didn't win the election? I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to eventually win. I'm going to be on the city council. So I'm, I'm, winning, I'm winning this one. <laughs> um, and if by chance God has decided I'm not going to win this one, I'm going to come back at it again. And I will eventually get there. But before that, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue serving on the boards that I serve on. I'm going to continue working with Noble. My, uh, By the way, comgage.com. C O M M G A G E. Come on. Is my, uh, my website and the nice. company that I have. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep writing and keep making a difference. Nice! What has been the hardest lesson for you to learn that took you the longest to learn? That I can't do it all. That's good. But, um, I have to find balance in life. I have to give time to me, give time to my family, but also give time to that which I'm passionate about. And that I'm not always good about. I sometimes get very single-minded, which I understand is a little bit hard to believe. <laughs> you know, sitting here talking with me, I, I seem so focused. Yes, very away. focused. I get that. Um, <laughs> but no, if I, if I had to, it would, it would be that. That's good! That's good! And to be audacious means to be... Uh, I'll just out there. Yeah! I mean, just just yes. my full expression of me. Yes! So tell people how they can find you online, how they can support you. WayneHarris.org yes. is our site. Um, there's a button on there for volunteers. I'm encouraging everyone. By the way, I told 400 people the other day to thank you for their donations oh. on the fundraiser. Yes! Um, thank the and, money. Uh, thank and the also money. you can uh, put, a, <laughs> put a donation in there too. So WayneHarris.org and if you want to read what I've written, ComGage.com. Nice. Very good. So thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, remember that life is meant to be enjoyed. Yes. <laughs> and not just endured.
Hey, Rochester Success Mentor, Dante J. Worth, and I'm inviting you to join me on Saturday, April 27th in Rochester, New York for the 2019 Audacious Believers Women's Conference! This year is going to be bigger than ever, and I want to see you there. I can't wait to see you, take selfies with you, and get to know you more as we learn how to go from being inspired to being empowered. If you're frustrated with your 9 to 5 going in and out on that hamster wheel, if you are a woman who has dreams, goals, and aspirations, this is the event that you need to be at, and you can come get your clapper. Come have fun and meet others who are looking for the next steps to go from where they are to where they want to be. Join us on Saturday, April 27th in Rochester, New York for the Audacious Believers Ultimate Women's Conference!